Hello everyone. I hope you are well. Welcome to the one and only complete guide for the Arena of Doom. This is an event included with the arrival of the Joker. It is a showdown type event but in solo. With a lot of small improvements so that you have to change your strategy all the time. There are many things to know about this event starting with the rewards. There are three types of awards. The first and the second type that needs no explanation is the daily ranking and the final ranking. At midnight each player will receive a reward for his ranking of the day. And a bigger reward for his final ranking of the week. These rewards are based on items to improve your chef's equipment. But also a limited time frame. The first one is a frame with a duration of 3 days, it will bring you a bonus of 1.50%. The second one is a frame with a duration of 7 days, it will provide you a bonus of 2%. That's why I'm going to ask you to think about it. The third type of reward is the breakthrough rewards. It is this reward that many players don't understand. Each of these rewards can be received once per player. They are called breakthrough rewards, each time you pass a breakthrough you will receive the associated reward. The total of these rewards is 31,000 biocaps and 1236 5 minute speedups. We will see right after that these rewards can be obtained by a large number of people. Let's talk about the combat phase. You will only be able to enter the Arena of Doom from level 12 of the headquarters. Once you reach level 12, you can participate in the fights. You will be able to choose three teams. Don't worry. The registration can be changed at any time while you are in the arena. You will be able to modify it between each fight according to your opponent. Know that during your registration you will be able to use the buffs of fight as well as your skills. So before you register, check a few things. Spend all your chef talent points in war mode, you can participate with more troops and better stats. You will be able to use skills like massive deployment. So you can also use your settlements buff, to do even more damage to your opponent. I remind you that everything that costs biocaps is not necessarily very useful. I let you judge if the rewards are enough to use these buffs. Now that you know that, let's proceed with the registration. How does it work? You will have to choose your three teams with your heroes and your formation. The troops are provided by Gigacorp so you won't need to take care of them. The nurses can take some time off. You will be able to use the maximum troops you have unlocked. After you register, you can start fighting against your enemies. You have the right to 5 free fighting chances every day. When you run out of them you can buy 5 more for 50 biocaps per unit. And again 5 at 100 biocaps per unit. 10 extra chances for a total of 750 biocaps. Attention this price can be modified. I advise you not to use all your chances from the beginning of the day. The mechanics of combat here is that each time you attack someone you take his place in the ranking. For example if I attack the Smiler ranked here, I will take his place and he will take mine. So if you're a leader and you want to get to first place, take it easy and think it through. Being in the first place is like going to a shooting range with a target on your back and running to avoid the bullets. On the contrary if you are a free to play player with a medium power I advise you to try to reach the best possible place in speed after the reset to get the best breakthrough reward. Every day on your first 3 attacks of the day, you will receive victory rewards that contain speed ups, tactical gear designs, but also joker chips that will allow you to make draws to try to get the joker. You can also attack someone with a lower ranking than yours to receive your daily rewards. There is a strategy of analysis, to win almost every time your fight. To understand this you must understand how the fights work. As you can see on this battle report, when you attack someone your first team fights against your opponent's first team, and the second against the second and the third against the third. To be victorious and take his place, you must win at least two fights out of the three. You don't need to attack to know your enemy's teams. Select your target, and click on views. You will see the layout of these teams, which will allow you to prepare yours to win his place. For example here you can see his marching weak, medium weak and very strong. Don't forget that skills work in this event, so they can change the outcome of a fight. Here for example, if I want to win I must use my marching in the opposite direction of my opponent. That is to say my weakest marching against her strongest, she will lose for sure, 
but we only need to win two fights. Then I have to use my strongest marching against her middle team and my middle team against her weak team. This will be one of the best strategies to adopt during this event, and as you can see, it was enough to finish first this time. Of course if you have a real power difference it won't work against everyone, every technique has its limits. I hope that this video guide, which I have tried to make as complete as possible, will be the best way to get the best possible place for you. Don't forget to subscribe, ask your questions in comments and drop a little, like. Take care of yourself and your families. See you soon.